I think there has been some misinformation as to what my actual favorite zombies map of all time is. And the honest truth is that it is actually Die Rise. This map is so insanely good and underrated that I never play it because I just don't want to spoil all the fun at once. And that is the primary reason why I like to tell other people that it's actually Derizendraka from Black Ops 3 because it's just an easy pick. You know what? Like Derizendraka is mostly everyone's favorite. Ah! And you might as well just select what everybody else picks because it's just easier than forming your own original opinion, but that is the reason why I just refuse to play this map, not because I actually strongly dislike it, but rather because I love it so much, I'd rather not play it all at once and spoil the rest of the time that I might actually be able to play and enjoy this map. That is 100% the honest, true reason. I am not lying. This is not a bit. I am going to have fun. Fun, 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 fun. Where's the last zombie? Where? Where are you? There, are you kidding me? I love this map that was just a spout of frustration based on the Black Ops 2 Zombies AI. It has nothing to do with this being the, I mean, the greatest Zombies map of all time. I am actually really excited for Lex's Die Rise. And I say Lex's Die Rise, I know that there's a lot of people working on that map. I find it's just easier to... I love this map, I love this map, I love this map. I it's just easier to identify the remake as Lex's remake because he seems to be kind of driving the force behind the team to get this thing done. I know that there are some very talented artists that are coming together to make sure that this thing happens, but you know. It's kind of like saying Denis Villeneuve's Dune. Like obviously there's an author, there's the original from the 80s, there's so many people that worked on that film in the visual effects and writing and props department, but Denis Villeneuve directed it, right? So it's just, it's Denis Villeneuve's Dune. That, that's how you identify it. But with that being said, I am extremely excited to see how they're going along with that. The last I checked, they were actually making some extremely strong progress on at least the spawn. I remember tuning into a live stream from one of the developers, and I can't remember their name, but they were working on some texturing, some lighting, and some other stuff for the map, specifically this area in this corridor here. I remember specifically seeing the artist like going in and putting in the pot lights and making sure that the lighting textures weren't glitching. Some extremely, you know, in-depth decisions being made with that. And I think that's honestly super cool that they're like genuinely taking the time to make sure that all of these details matter, right? Because that area you can't even get to. It's just in a corridor outside of the map, but that much work was being put into making sure that it wasn't going to glitch, cause a problem, that a player wouldn't notice that, right? I love this map. I don't hate it. This is why you got fired, Zelensky. Not necessarily. Not because I'm a bad player and I died in round two twice. That's not why you got fired. You got fired for making this abomination. I mean, this incredibly well-designed map. I'm not quite sure why you got fired, to be fair. I think I'm going to stop trying to survive in here on round two. I'm just going to take off, do my own thing. But what a run of maps Zelensky had going on here, right? Everyone was so excited for Black Ops 2 Transit, a kind of open world experience. Like it was, it was such a huge deal. And to be entirely honest, the trailer for Transit is better than the map. I think Transit was just an overly ambitious idea. As a matter of fact, I don't think that. I know that. And it's pretty common knowledge that that's exactly what it came down to, is that he had limited resources, limited time. And I mean, to be fair, that's what it comes down for all developers. So what can you do? For any game, any project, there's never enough time Time. there's never enough resources it's just Zelensky had a year maybe even less probably way less to make transit because I doubt he was just working on transit you know what I mean dozen other things that had to do with the game like multiplayer because obviously that was the big kicker that's why you buy Call of Duty back in the day not necessarily for all of us but like for me and the lads zombies is where it's at but that's not necessarily true for everybody and Activision I mean not so much now back in the day they were aware of that they were aware that multiplayer and campaign had to be good in order for the game to get to get great reviews and sell to more than just the day one buyers. You got to sell the game as a great Christmas gift. You got to sell it as a game that's going to sell over the course of the next year before an at the time Call of Duty Ghosts comes out. But then he makes this map. 
and very clearly the reception was pretty negative. I mean, to this day, this map is referred to as the worst map to have ever been made for COD Zombies. Not by me, of course. This is this is a great map. So then they bring in a new developer, Jason Blundell, who would change Zombies forever. And obviously, we're very happy that that decision was made. Otherwise, Mob of the Dead Origins and the entirety of Black Ops 3 just wouldn't have happened. It's kind of weird when you think about it because, I mean, there's a couple things happening, right? Like in two years time, we are going to be in the year that this game is actually based in. That's scary. But then when you think about it, we're also approaching the 10th anniversary of of Black Ops 3. How insane is that? That I think is almost scarier. Actually, I don't know which is scarier. Being in the year that Black Ops 2 is based or celebrating the 10th anniversary of Black Ops 3. Both of those just make me feel like an old man. <laughs> but also both of those things make me just so sad because in, in my honest opinion, there hasn't been a COD as good as Black Ops 3 since Black Ops 3. And that was almost 10 years ago. But that's besides the point. I'm, I'm getting sidetracked here. I'm getting sidetracked. Then Zelensky makes Buried. And I think by that point, Buried was already pretty far into development. And the decision to get rid of Zelensky and replace him with Jason Blundell was already made. And then I'm assuming that decision was absolutely solidified after Origins. Once Blundell made what is regarded by many as the greatest zombies map of all time, I mean, how do you say no to that? Now, I don't know if firing Zelensky was the greatest idea. I think having him as a co-lead developer was probably the wiser decision to have both minds on board, maybe even to continue into a rotation where Jason Blundell can work on a map and Zelensky he can work on a map, get more developers and work on multiple maps simultaneously. Now, I know Activision wouldn't be fully on board for that because that to them just sounds like money spent, money out the door. And to be truthful, it is. But if COD Zombies can sometimes sell games, then wouldn't it also make sense to you know, make sure that the product is good. Instead of having three months to make a product, you would theoretically have six months to make a product. And again, more developers, more money spent. Activision doesn't like the sounds of that. And who would, right? Like that, that's a lot of money. When it comes to owning a business, your number one cost is employees. And if you need double the employees to put out double the product or as good of a product as you can muster up, well, that means more employees, which means more money spent, right? You like You see where I'm going with this? So the idea, I think, makes a lot of sense on paper, but I understand why they probably wouldn't want to go with that. But again, I, I keep getting sidetracked here. Buried was kind of Zelensky's comeback. Unfortunately, it was also his last move before Activision would give him the boot. And I think that's really unfortunate because Buried really was something special. I, it was simple, maybe a little bit too easy, but also I don't even know if you can call it too easy. I think it was easy in comparison to two of the toughest zombies maps out there, to be honest, which is Mob of the Dead and Origins. Origins being probably the hardest zombies map that they've ever made. Even when you compare it to Gorod Krovi, I mean, in Gorod, you have three hits. Origins, you only have two. That instantly just makes it more difficult, less approachable by a casual audience. And as much as you know, hardcore zombies players. What just happened there? As much as hardcore zombies players want to have, you know, a challenge and a huge map with the toughest of Easter eggs and great to speed run, great to do on a first, second, third attempt, that doesn't sell very well. And so your product has to be approachable from everyone. And that's why I think they really had something special with Derizon Draka, because you have something for all audiences. The Wonder Weapon is far easier to complete. Can I do this? I don't know if I can do this. Get the perk. Oh, there's one. Ah! I have to. I was trying. I got cornered. This is also like a really weird attempt at like an alternate dog round. I don't know if these weird jumping crawlers were really the answer. But besides the point, Derizon Draka can be approached by everyone. You have wonder weapons that are much easier to make than Origins. Easter egg that can easily be speedrun and have like 
constantly people coming up with new strategies, being able to find the world record. And then you have something really fun that can be replayed over and over and over. Like in my opinion, besides Origins, Darius and Draka is the one Easter egg that feels like it can be replayed the most. Because every time you do it, it feels different. It feels like you take different strategies. You bring in different weapons. You have different encounters leading all the way up to the boss fight. And I don't know, it just feels more fun. It feels like it was probably the most refined map ever made. How did I get this to this conversation? I originally was talking about Jimmy Zelensky and his failed maps. <laughs> In other news, not ranting on about Zelensky, um, something kind of crazy happened. Black Ops 3 is in the top 10 selling games on Steam, and that is entirely due to the custom maps community. That is unreal. I mean, like, what other reason do you have to buy Black Ops 3 on Steam right now? Multiplayer doesn't really have any accessibility. The campaign isn't that good. The one thing about Black Ops 3 that is absolutely incredible and is the reason why it continues to sell on PC is zombies and specifically the custom maps. The ones that are available are unbelievable. Like I don't really understand why a lot of these custom map developers haven't already been hired at Treyarch to be the next generation of map makers for that company. Like it seems like such a huge lost opportunity, but either way it just continues to sell. But oh well, I kind of did some weird ranting in this one, but uh, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I think that's going to be it. Take care. Thank you.